let us know how it feels to you know voice the first Disney princess who is Latina. It feels wonderful. I think that uh, I, it hasn't really hit me until like starting to do the press and seeing how everyone's reacting and watching seeing little girls in the dresses and all of the merchandise has been really exciting. But uh, more than that, it just feels like a huge honor to be a part of that history. You know, it's it's somehow you live on in that character. Now, actually, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that history and whatnot because I was also curious. You know, when you were a little girl yourself. Mm -hmm. Who was your favorite Disney princess? Well, I definitely identified with the princesses that were not afraid to get in there and kind of do their own thing. So like Mulan and Jasmine, they were more of like the action hero princesses. And I was very active as a kid. So I, I, I probably identified more with, with the adventure side of it. And is that how is that you know carrying into your portrayal of Elena? Well, Elena's very it's a very active. Um, I thought getting a voiceover job was going to be like I can come in my pajamas and sit. I can't. <laughs> um, she's always like in a sword fight or doing something athletic, which I really like because it's a wonderful message to send, especially when it comes in a princess package, to little kids out there who think that being a princess is just sitting on a throne and doing nothing. She is actively ruling her kingdom and she's not afraid to be a part of the story and be her own hero. And what do you see of yourself in Elena? I mean, that's kind of If I'm giving myself a compliment? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah if, I give, if I'm giving myself a compliment, I like to think that we're both pretty tenacious and pretty independent. And she's a little more self-assured than I am, but that's definitely something I, I really enjoy about playing this character is that she will, she will always stand up for herself, and she will always try again, even if she fails. And now, you mentioned you know, how Princess Elena is a fantastic role model for little girls. What do you think she teaches them about leadership? That, oh, I think, she, I think Elena teaches the audience about leadership. I'll rephrase that. What she teaches oh, audiences about leadership is that it's a choice, and it's hard, and it's something you work at every day. And it's not just power, you know. Mm -hmm. Leadership isn't just having power. It's it's how you, the people you surround yourself with. The first episode deals with that. It's like she realizes, you know what, to be a good leader, I need my my counsel. Um, and so I, I think what I would like for audiences to take away from it is that with leadership comes great responsibility, and it's not necessarily about p ordering people around. Mm -hmm. Now we also saw in the pilot last night that. Elena has a little sister who's very you know, special to her, very close to her heart. How is family important to Elena and also to you? Well, as a Latin person, I can tell you that family is everything. Um, we grew up, me personally, I grew up in a, in a very close-knit family. We lived on the same block, my, my aunts and my grandparents, so my extended family lived on the same block as my immediate family. Mm -hmm. So we're very close, but I, I think that, I, I'm not sure why that is. I haven't really examined that in my own life, but I think it's a great way to pass on the traditions, and that's something you see in Elena of Avalor, is the grandparents represent the older generation, the older way of doing things, and I, I think that Elena has great respect for that, and in the same way I have great respect for my parents, my grandparents' story, mm -hmm. and their, their struggles, you know, especially living in a country where they weren't native to. It's actually funny, I was going to ask you, who, who does inspire you from your family? I mean, again, you kind of answered that a little just now, talking about your grandparents. Yeah. I would say, more. you know, the women in my family, as well as the men, but particularly the women in my family, have broken the mold at every point, and in their own way. I mean, so something that may seem small to me, uh, to them, was totally, uh, they were the first in their family to do it, so my mom was the first in her family to go to graduate school. And, and my grandmother was the first person in her family to move to the United States, so I think they've all been trailblazers, and they are fiercely independent and very strong, but also compassionate, and that's something that I, I, I hope that I, I've inherited it from them. All right. Thank you very <laughs> much. Great. It's been great talking to you Thank today. Thank you so much.